our side. Middle. Hey, it's Mr. Marshall with Mesa RC Foam Fighters. Quick announcement. The plans for the Wolverine are now done and they are now available on our website. The link is in the description uh, below this video. The rest of this video is a little bit uh, lengthy, but that's just because it's showing you the build for the Wolverine. Okay, it's very dry, um, but it's just meant to show you guys how that these two wings are being folded together, how the fuselage is being put together, the whole shebang. Now, the Wolverine, um, along with some of the other plans that we have, remember now when you purchase these plans, these go straight to the kiddos that are in our program to buying us glue sticks, uh, more glue guns, exacto knives, more foam board, more electronics for planes. I mean, that's our ultimate goal is to try to get a classroom set of everything so that every kid has this so they can. Okay, so that's our goal. So yes, it is, it is a $5 charge for these planes. However, it goes to the kids. So make sure you support the Mesa RC foam fighters and purchase some of those plans. Um, and we will also be doing, uh, as we get closer to the winter break, we'll also be doing a, um, a giveaway for these plans as well. So if you want to hold off on the purchase and try to win one uh, uh, towards the uh, winter break time, we'll be also giving away our plans for the Wolverine. Other than that, enjoy the build video. When you download it, come back to this video as a reference and get these bad boys up in the end fly. Here's all the pieces cut out for the revised Wolverine. You got one, two, three main pieces. The two wing supports, and we'll show you how that goes together. Two main wing pieces, which is different than most builds. Nose. And our stabilizers. Okay, so the first part is to put the belly pan with the bottom piece fuselage together. And once I did that, I just went ahead and mounted the motor. And there's two little support brackets that go in there. And that's where those would fit and mount right on the back of the motor to give it a little more strength. Okay, so this next step, Mitch went ahead and connected all of the electronical components to the plane. And the reason why we did this was so that we didn't have to get to it when we placed the top plate on. And you can always make a hatch or something on top of it. But for us, we just decided to get everything nice and secure, make sure that the prop is turning in the right direction. So it was a good little, uh, good little teaching moment for, for Mitch. Okay, so now I'm preparing the plane for the next step, which is to line up the top plate onto the main fuselage piece here. And all I did was throw some glue into the, both the seams of the two flaps and then I measured it to where it was about an inch and a half to inch and three-fourths separation between the two. By doing that it should fit nice and snug along those lines. So now we're going to go ahead and glue that on. Okay so now the top plate goes on and it should fit snug right along those lines all the way down. I just threw a bead of glue on the inside of that flap and you can see they just kind of interlock in the back all the way forward. And then make sure that you have some flexibility with it too. Make sure that it can kind of move up and down. Okay, once the top plate is glued down, you want to move on to attaching the wings. Both wings are separate, 
and it's up to you whether or not you want to put your servo, servos on them prior to attaching them to the main body of the plane. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these struts and we're going to glue them onto the side of the two main wing pieces. And then we will show you guys how we are going to attach them onto the main wing of the plane. Okay, so the struts have been glued onto both sides of the wings. And when Colby uh, designed this uh, last year, this style of design, he wanted to be able to make his uh, wings dihedral and, and anhedral. So he wanted to be able to either curve them up or curve them down. By doing this style, it allows you to do just that. For the sake of the Wolverine and for sake of our first test, we're just going to make them nice and straight off this. We're going to set a bead of glue on the inside track here, place this on the inside with the glue bead on top, getting these both inset like this, and we'll have maybe a couple spacers on the bottom of here to make sure that, that part is nice and level. Okay, so I glued the first part down. The bottom, piece, the bottom piece, and I'll go ahead and I'll make a nice blue line on that once I get the whole top done. Now I'll do the same thing for this. Glue the top part of that and the edge line of this, and we'll get it all together, making it nice and level. Making sure that the two holes that were formed by the combination of this, the wing support and the main wing, making sure that those holes are exposed so that you can put, place your stabilizers in them. Okay, so I got the main wing piece on the left side. And I went ahead and I even put a glue right along that baseline there to give myself some extra support. And I will do the same on the bottom piece too. I'm going to proceed to put the vertical stabilizer on the left side. Okay, the vertical stabilizer was glued down. Ran a bead of glue from all corners on the inside, as well as the outside. And straight up and down perpendicular to the wing and the body of the plane. All right, so both wings are done. And I should make this clear, this is not an easy build to do. Got to have some experience with working with foam planes. But it came out really nice. So now the next piece would be actually working on the nose. Looking sharp. So working on the front nose, I use a series of tape supports, then I glue on the inside, and then we'll just take a random piece of foam, and we'll place that on the inside too and get that glued in there. That'll protect the battery once the battery goes in the front, as well as strengthen this up as well and I'll use some clear tape at the end to kind of fill everything up. Okay, after finishing gluing the front, just use clear tape on the bottom. We'll proceed to take the top piece now. And it should fit nice and snug right on top. I'll use a series of tapes too to help form this nose. Okay, so this is where we're at. Nose cone fit nice on top. And blended right into the fuselage of the plane. And then once I had it done, I just took the tapes off, threw a clear tape on this just to strengthen it, and then I threw another clear tape around the nose, around the whole nose to strengthen it as well. Okay, the last step is to complete the canopy. And as you can see, 
bevel down all corners, all edges. And then I'll use uh, the tape on the outside of this as support when I glue it together. And I'm looking to use some just basic magnets to hold it in place on the plane. Okay, so there's the canopy. I went ahead and did some logos too while uh, in between the shots. Okay, so what we did for this, glued it on there, a little popsicle stick cut off in the front, put a little piece of tape uh, back to back in here with the sticky sides that go on both sides so that have a little cavity to go into. Back here, just got some Velcro with some magnets. Same thing here, Velcro with magnets. So when you slide it on, it forms perfect. Looking good. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and we'll try out the servos. These are brand new servos. Tower Pro MG90S's and we'll go ahead and we'll mount those on the plane. And the servos on the bottom, we're just going two servos and we embed them into the foam board. Control horns going out to about almost the middle. Same thing and then we just run them, tape them down and then run them inside the main fuselage. So the plane is ready to go. Let's go fly this thing. Yeah.